What's the situation? All clear, Sentinel. Five mutants released from their torment. The rest are keeping their heads down. Good. Jennings? Negative. A new recruit? Just a stray we picked up. The one that blundered into the uglies over on 42nd. Welcome! All right, it's the usual drill. Redden, you just do whatever Paladin Vargas says and keep your mouth shut. Yes, ma'am. You're the eyes. Vargas, Redden, secure this building. Come with me if you like. We'll have the best view. Knock that off. You're wasting ammo. Ah, oh, come on. We just kicked We're their asses. Stand down. We need to sweep the area. You think those were all the uglies in DC? You take the east side. I'll go west. Okay, okay. Once we're inside, then we'll celebrate. Now you're talking. I guess it's my turn to thank you. Anyway, the area's secure, so you're free to talk to Three Dog if you need to. I'm sure. You can handle yourself, I'll give you that. 
But let's not get carried away. She died well. In the end, that's all that really matters. I'll take that as a compliment. If we don't try to keep the mutants from killing everyone and everything in the Capital Wasteland, who will? The Brotherhood does its best, but sometimes it takes a little something... special. That's where the Lion's Pride comes in. Well, the Brotherhood needed a secure outpost, and the guy who runs the radio station needed to not get his head ripped off by super mutants. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. Three Dog is the man in charge. He keeps that signal broadcasting pretty much single-handedly. He's, um, interesting. I'll give him that much. Watch yourself out there. When we get back to the Citadel, I'll talk to the scribes. Let it be chronicled that Paladin Redden passed her test. Come on. Let's see if they've got anything to drink in this stuff. <laughs> 